Today we have a good old makeup haul. I have things from Sephora, from e.l.f., and then I ordered a few things from Jacqueline Cosmetics so I thought I would share. I have a lot of the items on my face right now. You can go in the description box to see everything that I'm wearing. But let's go ahead and get started with the goods at Sephora because that always is the most exciting part. So first thing, you guys already know this. I've been wearing this multiple days now. I did a whole review. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, but when I placed an order for this foundation, I also placed a lot with this order. You should already know this if you've been watching my videos. I freaking love this foundation. It's my favorite foundation from Hourglass thus far and it's definitely one of my favorites that have come out this year. It really treats my skin very well. It feels lightweight on the skin but it gives a nice medium coverage. It's been wearing really well even in the humid climate. I do think less is more of this product. I do find areas where the layers I put down are thicker is when it can start to emphasize things that I don't want to be emphasized but as long as I keep a nice even thin layer on the skin it really looks so phenomenal it does have blurring properties to it in the magical way that hourglass does so this is one of the things I picked up that I can tell you that I really really like it already from using it multiple times I mean taking a look I think this is the thing I've used the most in today's haul I also picked up this item for the face this is from Tarte I rarely buy things from Tarte but they had some items that definitely intrigued me this is the maracuja juicy glow it's like a click up, almost like a lip product in a highlight. So it's the same packaging as the Maracuja lip plumps. But this one is for the face. And honestly, you guys, I have not been a fan of liquid or cream highlights for the longest. But this year, they've really come out with some good ones. So this one is one of the ones that are really, really nice. I have powder and whatnot on, and it's layering over beautifully. It doesn't break up what is underneath. It's very nice. I really like the packaging, how slim it is. This is gonna be great for travel. They have a few different shades. I picked up the shade Champagne Glow, but seriously, you guys, I am not a fan of these types of products, but something about this called out to me, so I picked it up and I really like it. It is a kick butt kind of cream highlight and it blends into the skin seamlessly. If all liquid and cream highlights were like this, I would love liquid highlights because I never reach for them. I'm a powder highlight kind of girl, but this one could turn me. If I find more of this quality, I could be convinced to be more into liquid and cream highlights for once. I picked up one eyeshadow palette from Sephora. I'm not wearing it today, but you'll see the swatches. <sighs> I told y'all I was going to pick this up in a shopper drop in the past. I can't say no to these palettes. So I picked up the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate eyeshadow palette. You know, the ones that I have are super duper old and I don't know, it's very nostalgic. I wanted to try the new version of the chocolate palette. I mean, she smells good, but not overpowering. I mean, this has been done before. Unfortunately, while well, I haven't put out my eyes yet, the swatches, they seemed really bad. So... I'll have to let you guys know an application. I'm going on a little staycation away for this weekend. I might bring this one along with me to give it a go. I, I know the looks that I do are going to be super pretty with it, but Too Faced can do better. I know that they can. I have some eyeshadow palettes with really great quality from them, but the swatches on this seem dry. Some of the shades lacked pigment. They seem chalky. Some shades were better than others, but because they're brown shades and shades that I like, I know I will get a pretty look with this palette, but something tells me this is not going to be worth the money, but I will continue to keep you guys updated. I also picked up one of the newest products from Patrick Ta. This is the, what is this major brow pencil I believe yes major brow defining pencil I have not tried a bad product from Patrick Ta point blank and not that I needed a brow product but because I love Patrick Ta so much I thought I'd give this a try now there isn't anything spectacular about this brow pencil because how spectacular can a brow pencil be you know but once again Patrick Ta does it again this is still a phenomenal brow pencil it's nice and slim and fine it's not too creamy it deposits the perfect amount of pigment you can get those really hair like natural strokes but you can build it up I mean it's a brow pencil you can't get too much variation in what's good and what's bad with brow pencils, but this was a dang 
a dang good one. And then I also got two lip products from Sephora to try out. So this first one is one that is quite popular, very trendy. So I was kind of feeling like, all right, I need to try this because it's so popular so that I can see what we're talking about and I can use it for reference since at this point, so many of you have also tried it. This is the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump. It's very nice. I mean, this is the first time I've used it today. It is that push up. It reminds me a lot of the M Cosmetics. It's a little thicker, a little bit more gooey than the M Cosmetics. So once again, just I've added it to reminders. Stop. Whenever Siri talks and she was not summoned, it literally <laughs> scares the bejesus out of me. Anyways, just like with the M Cosmetics, upon the first use, I literally put way too much on my lips and it totally melted down. I don't like how easily this melts down. It's too gooey for me. But it does kind of plump the lips and leave a really pretty effect to the lips. It smooths in the lines and whatnot. So I'm excited about this. I think this is very, very nice so far. I don't know that it's worth the hype yet, but it's very pretty. And I picked up the shade Peachy Page, by the way. And then the last product that I got to pick up, it was just because I hadn't heard of it before and it was new. It's from Makeup Forever, a very reliable brand. So I picked up the Rouge Artist Forever Matte Lipstick and I got the shade Endlessly Blush. It's so amazing how liquid lipsticks have evolved over time. This is more kind of like a plush, blurring liquid lipstick, if you ask me. It does dry down, but it's not too thick or crackly. I really like the applicator on this. I feel like it allows me to get the shape to my lips that I want. It still is quite unique. It's a little bit of a chunk, short, and stout kind of applicator, but I really like it. I picked up the shade Endlessly Blush. It's a very pretty color. It feels really lightweight on the lips. I mean, I've only used it once today, so I'm going to have to continue using it. But this is a very nice matte liquid lipstick. So once again, Makeup Forever, they do a good job. What can I say? Okay, I have a few products from Jaclyn Cosmetics. These are the newest products, but they aren't new at this point. But let me tell you, the most recent collection with the bronzers and the lip oils and whatnot. Okay, I ordered the day of that it launched and it took so long to get to me. And then... Our mailing system said that it was delivered, but then I didn't have it, and then one day it showed up in our mail room. I don't know. Point being, I have now tried <laughs> the Dang Jacqueline Cosmetics bronzers. I was going to do a full-blown review on what I picked up, but then it just never came. But I've been playing with these, so I picked up two shades, one in tan lines and one in vitamin D. They do have a very rich caramelly scent, but it's not overpowering, but I don't know how much I love a caramelly scent. Uh, but I've been playing with both of these colors. So vitamin D is a little bit more of a neutral shade. It's actually really pretty as an everyday bronzer, but I've actually been enjoying tan lines, which is a lot warmer and not really a bronzer that I thought I would enjoy color wise. I don't normally like them to lean so warm, but I've been enjoying that really warm bronze look. And this one I feel like is so, so pretty. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to being so tanned. Not that I'm super tanned, but I, I don't get out in the sun too much until now. <laughs> I don't know, I really like this shade, Tan Lines, if you like a bronzed, warm shade. This is a really nice bronzer. I mean, I don't think it's anything game-changing for me. There's bronzers that I like better. There's a lot of bronzers that I like worse. It's a good quality bronzer. It blends out so easily and even on the skin. You know how sometimes bronzers just don't give you evenness across the face? These definitely do. It's a beautiful application, but you know. It's a bronzer, and it's a good bronzer. I also picked up from them one of the Pout Drip lip oils. I have one in a clear shade from the previous year, so I wanted to try a new color, so I picked up Maple Drip. I like lip oils with this type of shade because they look really good on bare lips, so it just adds a little extra color and hydration to the face if you're not wearing much makeup, so I thought that this color was really pretty. Like I said, I tried the formula previously. I do think she has a really nice lip oil formula. It's a little slicker than Dior's, I would say, but super nice. I mean, and I love this color. I know my lips don't really go with my eye look, but <laughs> I wanted to wear what I picked up in today's video. So yeah, I like her lip oil formula. And by the way, on my eyes is the Pat McGrath Labs Moonlit Seduction Palette that also came in the mail today. I just reviewed it and everything. So that is what is on my eyes today. And I mean, Pat does it, right? But oh my gosh, do you see how that lip oil just instantly smoothed over my lips? 
I love that. Okay, and the last order that I have is from e.l.f. I don't make too many orders from e.l.f., but when I do, I usually get a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to catch up on that I missed. So you've already seen me talk about these. This was the reason for placing the order. I picked up three different shades of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, so I've been using and testing these as well. I picked up the shades one, three, and six. I've talked about these a lot, so I'm gonna skip over these, but just know these are really, really good, and they really are a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, and I've been enjoying them. Today, I used shade three kind of as a base layer, and then I underpainted with shade six to add a little extra bronze to the face just to try it in that way, and they're great. They do not disappoint. I also picked up two of the Luminous Putty Blushes. I told you guys in a shopper drop, I was interested in trying these, but only if like I came across them or if I was placing an order. I didn't want them enough to place a whole order by themselves. But I picked up two shades, Barbados and Bermuda. So these are the putty blushes, which I really like, but they are a luminous finish. So I was curious, I don't normally like cream blushes with a luminous finish, because sometimes they can pull like metallic or glittery, which can be unflattering on the skin and pores. Bermuda is my favorite color of the two. It gives kind of a sunburnt look, really nice for summer. Bermuda, I think, is a little bit too pink and metallic for me. Overall, though, I'm not that impressed by these. I found that they looked really patchy on my face. I couldn't get an even color over the cheeks. It was splotchy. I could see my skin underneath in some parts. So I'm not as impressed by these. I'm not saying they look bad on the skin. They didn't pull any of the product underneath up. They're okay. They added the color, but if I'm being picky here, it definitely was an uneven coverage over the cheeks. Like, I could see not get it to cover in some spots so these are a little splotchy not my favorite I got this for the eyes I have not yet tried it the swatch seemed pretty sheer though this is the no budge cream eyeshadow in the shade wildflower so this was a free gift with purchase I didn't even pay for it but I thought that this was so pretty I've never tried this formula before I know I have another one in another color maybe I tried it in like a quick something or other, but I have never really paid much mind to this product, but I think I might have to with this shade. It looks so pretty. It's swatched kind of sheer. So we'll see if it ends up really being a true no budge eyeshadow, but this did not interest me at all until I saw the color. So now I'm excited to try this. This was also, well, everything at this point is a free gift with purchase. I got a lot. Like, I only picked up, what, five things? And then I got four free gifts with it. And this is a good one. So this is the Ride or Die Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. It's really, really thick, so you have to be careful with how much product comes out but this is really pretty all over the lips when you don't have anything over the lips because it's not too pigmented but it does add a little bit of color to your lips just to bring some life back to your face so I actually think I'm gonna really like this I wasn't that interested in it I did not need another lip balm in my collection but now that I've tried it I really like this I think it's very nice and the last two products that I got from elf for skincare related so the first is an acne fighting spot gel with aloe I I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this. I love a good acne spot gel, so that is what is like, hmm, do I want this? Do I want to keep it? But it was free. I mean, it's a salicylic acid acne treatment. I like that, so maybe I'll keep it. But this one I'm definitely keeping. This is These are the hydrogel under eye masks. I love these. I feel like of late, my under eyes have been looking a little bit more dry, and I don't know, I found concealer just hasn't been sitting as well on my under eyes, so I'm gonna try these to see if we can spruce up and bring my under eyes back to life but there we have it these are most of the new products that I've purchased recently and we'll be planning on testing as we go let me know if you've tried anything here is there anything you're interested in hearing more about I mean at this point with the exception of a few products I've tried almost everything and I'm impressed with most of the stuff so let me know your thoughts down below thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and being subscribed to my channel and liking this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one